The following podcast is recorded and produced by Emerge, a media creators co-op, in affiliation with the network at BICBB-radio.com. Hello there. And welcome to- And welcome back. And welcome back. And welcome back. And welcome back to the 716th Attack Legion. Welcome to the 716th Legion Podcast. My name is Julian, and today I am joined with a very special guest from the Virtual Co- the Vir- Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> from the Virtuosos Podcast, please welcome Damien. <laughs> that might have been one of the worst butcherings of it, but that's fine. Listen, it happens. It's not an easy word. Uh, thank you for having me on today, guys. I really appreciate it. I swear it. to God, I promise that wasn't intentional. No, listen, it's, it's like, fine, man. We always kick <laughs> it off like with a bang. like to pronounce it again. So we can <laughs> it's so it's totally fine. <laughs> um, anyway, we're talking about Deadpool and Wolverine and a couple other Marvel things that have come out. I just saw Deadpool and Wolverine last night, so I am like fresh off the beat. Um, holy shit. Yeah. What a film. What a picture. That's what I say when I see a good movie. What a picture. Christian, you had some points to make. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go through some basic. Uh, we're going to talk about Deadpool and Wolverine, because we, we've all seen it uh, basically this weekend. Uh, I saw it opening night. As did I. You saw it opening night. Opening night as well. I, I didn't even have anything in unfortunately this. was working a festival, but I did get to see it last night. On a whim, too. I was not planning on seeing it last night. Right. I was just like driving home from uh, a doctor appointment, and I was like, I'm going to go see this tonight, and good thing I did, because it was wild. What a wild movie. Like, seriously. I I so hope that anybody that saw it was able to avoid all the spoilers, especially if they couldn't make it. I didn't million. know anything. Oh, that's awesome. Like, yeah, so because... going into it, I was, I, there were a couple things where I was like, okay, that's obvious. That's obvious. Like, right. I knew that was going to happen, but it was all, like, things I didn't. You know the the a lot of the cameos are the big stuff. I was like, yeah. oh my god! You, you you could guess some things, but nothing that was life changing. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie yeah, yeah. Real quick, spoiler warning. Yeah, yeah. this is gonna be a spoiler talk. Uh, so if yeah, if you we'll put that in the title. Haven't please. seen it? Flip over, go to the Virtuosos page and check out some of their older content. Yeah. Um, be, stay away from their most recent podcast because yeah, yeah. that's also Deadpool. Yes, 100%. If you have not seen it, avoid anything recent from the Virtuosos. That's been all we've talked about for the last week. So It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Christian, what's right, our first so, question? Uh, we'll get right into the cameos. There's obviously more important things about a movie than the cameos. Sure. But uh, I think that's kind of everyone. what it was everyone was, was anticipating yeah. before mm-hmm. going into it. Uh, so what was everyone's favorite uh, oh. cameo? And again, spoilers. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Gambit. Gambit, <laughs> was, Gambit uh, yeah. blew me away. Oh man. my God, Channing Tatum. Uh, we were in a fully packed theater, and as soon as I saw the card float through the door, I screamed Gambit. I mean, I had yeah. no yeah. care for anybody else in the theater. I know it sounds bad. I freaked out. I cannot believe Gambit was in this movie. I'm, 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 like, and I'm, I'm glad that they like made it a joke that right. it wasn't oh, yeah, you know they were like a good they were like oh no, you've no. been you've been waiting this long for it and obviously yeah. like Channing Tatum should not play Gambit but no, they actually no. it wasn't not only that but they made him cool no yeah like sure. all of yeah. his it was fighting and everything meta as well because like, he was is having awesome. like existential crisis about that he never got to do anything right which was obviously because they never made the movie and he and he, yeah the, they write into his character that he yeah. doesn't know anything about his past, his past because too. they didn't give him an origin story yeah. I, I thought he was like that's so... just born in the void actually most of the so actual funny. meaning of this movie has like a double meaning There's yeah something yeah. metatextual absolutely um, i i i think my favorite cameo which was one that i so I didn't watch any. I did not watch any trailers for this movie at all. I have not seen gonna... any trailers. I saw. I saw like the behind the scenes photos, and that was it. Right. Um. So when X twenty three walked on screen, I was like, Oh my god! Uh, I love her. Mm-hmm. Her character is amazing. I'm 
glad that she makes it to the end of the movie because now that means hopefully Marvel will use her and we get more stuff with her. If we never see Hugh Jackman again and we get like a Wolverine movie, but it's her, I'm fine. I love her. She's great. Obviously, Daphne Keene plays Jackie in Acolyte. Like, you know, she she was fantastic. I, I fangirled yeah. over that. And they character. used her very well in terms of like what her role was in Logan and like how that helped yeah, and this her... version of Wolverine like back on his feet a little bit. So. Yeah, and her saying like um, you were you you know you were always the wrong guy until you weren't and I like little little heart pounding. Yeah, they, they, they definitely tear it. So you didn't see the last trailer bit. then because they did actually spoil that in the. Last I did trailer. not. Okay, I so. did not watch any trailers for this movie at all. I avoided everything. Um, mainly because I was really pissed off at Marvel for the past couple things they've <laughs> yeah, done. Don't blame but me. I was like, with Deadpool, it's going to be good, obviously. So like I was Secret like, Invasion? I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I can't oh, wait to poke Invasion? this bear. I cannot I, wait to I poke haven't, this bear. Okay, so just so everybody's aware here, I have not watched a single Marvel project since Thor Love and Thunder. I don't blame you. That's a, yeah. What that's about a Loki bad season two? What's so good I haven't since seen, Love and Thunder? I haven't Ugh. seen Loki season two, which well, is why I, 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 I know that that's going to be. Well, I Loki produced your guys' reaction yeah, video yeah, for that. Yes, so I know how it ends, but I will watch that because I do like Loki. But um, I thought Loki the season rest of it, like Werewolf by Night, I don't really know anything about. Um, I stopped halfway through Moon Knight, wasn't even interested anymore. Um, I did not even give Quantumania a chance, and yeah, I know that, that, that it's terrible. Yeah, like, like, another one you is... didn't miss much of. You know, yeah. um, so I haven't watched a Marvel project like in its entirety. I liked Wakanda since... Forever. Oh, well, Wakanda Forever. I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3 either. Oh, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is thing good as well, out. but it's yeah. almost like... You, nobody almost gave Marvel any credit for that because it was like, well, that's just as good as Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, like, yeah. It, was it was all just, James Gunn. James, James, James Gunn at this point. So, right. And that was really the most stylistic of any of the franchises um, that they so, had. So. so, yeah, so that's that. Jordan, favorite cameo? I'm conflicted. Because I have a cameo that surprised the shit out of me that made me really happy. And then I have a cameo where I was like, yeah, all right, I fucking, I can deal with this. Um, so my, and the one that made me happy to see was actually Wesley Snipes' Blade. Oh, that one got my the most God. reaction in the, the, the in beat drop when he walks in. Was I, oh, cameo. yeah. When he came in, my reaction was, what the fuck am I watching? No, seriously. When when yeah. when Jennifer Garner walked out, I predicted that last week, too. Yeah. I said Jennifer Garner was going to be that. in this movie. An Electra call out is nuts. That's props to you. I would have never got the Electra. I crazy. said that. There I was, was like, like I, that was floating around. Well, because okay, we had discussed while. last week, we were like. Who, who are we going to get? And right. the first thought was initially, I think it was Jordan that said, I think we might get Ben Affleck as Daredevil. And I said, I'm going to... That joke was great. I'm yeah. gonna, <laughs> they, they made I good said, joke. I'm going to pardon that and say, we're not going to get him. We're going to get Elektra instead. Okay. And so when she walked out, I was like, this is amazing. And then Wesley Snipes walked out and my roommate looks at me and he goes, is that fucking Blade? Yeah, I was like, yeah, it is. I, I, I would have never guessed Blade was going to be in this No, movie especially because like, they had and personal, then he said, they had there personal will never issues be another on the last. Blade. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds and, and Wesley Snipes. Yeah, they have, I mean, they literally <laughs> refer to them in the movie because he's like, I hate you. He's like, you always did. Yeah. <laughs> you say, good to see you again. Like, I think people forget that Ryan Reynolds was in Blade. Yeah, Blade Trinity. So he used the transition he was? from TV to Blade Trinity. Yeah, he yeah. Had, one of the films he used the transition from uh, TV to movies. He was a Night Blade Stalker. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why. They, that's it's not very good though. I haven't no, seen it in so talk. long. It's not worth talking about his role, no. but he is in it. He, he, <laughs> he, he was Deadpool esque so in that role too. Yeah. yeah. When um, you hear Ryan you know. Reynolds, you're like, ah, you've seen anything okay, with Ryan so, Reynolds, you know. But the other one that I was like, this one's more my favorite was Chris Evans as yeah, the Human Torch because yeah, that one was like, that's my fucking childhood. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that that one was coming. I said. um I also said last week, it was like, we're definitely would get at least one Fantastic Four member, mm-hmm. but most likely, I think for the shock value, for especially for younger kids no, yeah. who n- only know him as Captain Could America, mm-hmm. when he shows up, they're going to be like, why is Captain America here? And that and they played it really well. He's like, he's going to say the thing, and he said, flame on, and I was like, yeah. He, he was I never talk. for a, one second thought that that was Captain America. No, I mean, I knew it. I, I, mean, <laughs> I, I, thought, knew the, it I thought that was, I was like, that's, that's the torch. I, I, could, like, I could see it. Like, uh, you could see his outfit and his sleeves yeah, underneath yeah. what he was wearing, but... I'm saying for like the kids who don't know that. Oh, that was definitely yeah. yeah. If you, if you, yeah, were, if you didn't grow up with the Fantastic that, yeah. Four, if you're still like a teenager or even like yeah. a little bit younger and like yeah, well, twenty years old. And I'm yeah. and I'm glad that God. we got him, and not 
Michael, Michael B. Jordan. B. Jordan. Yeah, Michael B. Say, Jordan. They didn't want to do the 2015 Fantastic Four. Oh, you mean Fan well, Four? Stick? I would love the Fan Four, four stick. stick. You know what I mean? They're the fan, best team. Fan Four Stick, the, the best mo- iteration the, of the team. Fan oh, Four Stick, no. the only Marvel movie that was so 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 good that Stan Lee couldn't even make a cameo yeah, in it because he opted out of it. He's like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, yeah he's no. literally. He, he I never did that movie so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's the only Marvel movie that he was not in. Thank you, Fox. Yeah. Thanks for trying. Fan Four Stick. Fan Four Stick. Christian. Uh, favorite cameo? Uh, probably Blade. Blade was cool. Because <laughs> I just didn't expect it. Like, that was the only one that I'm like, okay, that one's wild. That like, one that was one probably is, like, the so most shocking. I yeah. did not, like, I of all the people, I did not. I think we said this last week. Didn't somebody say, hey, I th- do, what, what do we think of Blade? Was it you that said maybe Blade uh, might be in it? We definitely bought Blade up, yeah. And I, and I think we all kind of unanimously went, there's no way they're going to No, a lot of people like had heard that Blade was going to be in this, and then the t- people would just kind of, well, well they, don't, they don't get along. So I think a lot of people that even had heard that rumor like were, had already kind of talked themselves into, oh, it's not he's not going to be yeah, in this. So when he did show up, it was shocking even to the people that had like seen that rumor because like, sure. people had kind of been pushed to, oh, no, it's not going to happen. The, 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 yeah. the beef was too much to overcome. A shocking one for me that I, we had talked about on the show, and I'd called it before we went in there because it was a popular theory going in, was Cavalrine. I was, yeah, was very, very happy to see Henry Cavill, even for the split second. Oh, yeah. Henry oh, my Cavill God. as Wolverine was awesome. He's the only other player person now to have played Wolverine in the last 24 years. And he, yeah. he Even if it is just a stick at DC. That is true, yeah. And he said, he, what What was his line? Oh, he's like, you were just leaving. leaving. And, and I was he, like. And he pumps the claws out like he did a Mission yeah, Impossible. Yeah, that's say, yeah, that's oh, just yeah, great. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, the it Henry was Cavill awesome. cameo was that's awesome. one of my favorite the, the, bits the, of any film ever is when he does like the army cock. Rick and I were sitting next to each other other and he goes because they they didn't show like any of the wolverine's faces right and he said he's he leaned over to me rick's my roommate by the way he leaned over to me and he goes he goes is that henry cavill like before he said that and i was and i said i swear to god i said 10 bucks it's daniel radcliffe (laughs) and it was henry cavill i was like ah man i was hoping there was daniel Daniel radcliffe Radcliffe. there was rumors though some people thought patch well because i want to say like i I saw the fan cast for a long time and I caught it early on. I think I was one of the first people that realized that he just didn't do the traditional claws out. Yeah, you definitely he called did, it out to us. He did the Mission Impossible thing. And I and I think I got home. Yeah. And it didn't even click in my head right away. But then we talked about it later. But I told you guys. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and that's why this movie's so good. Like, because that's that's so cool. The one that's great, it's not, it's not an important cameo. But like the Matthew McConaughey like role of the cowboy, yeah. cowboy pool or voice. whatever. Yeah. That All was pretty. Oh, that was pretty there. funny. That so was. I went pretty, I checked, Welsh pool, yeah. So I went and checked IMDb. That was Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, the, boy. the cowboy, cowboy. Yeah. Pool, yeah. the voice was. The That's cowboy one. awesome. And Nathan I didn't know Philly, that Nathan, Nathan Fillion, Fillion was the weird voice. Was, head, uh, was Headpool. Mm-hmm. Oh, I would. I didn't know that Nathan Fillion was in it. Really? Yeah. That's actually a really. And Blake cool. Lively's. I, didn't I think just voices. Blake Lively, she, obviously. She voices Lady, uh, Lady I'm Lady. sure she was. I'm sure she was probably in the suit too. I, I mean, think, it's it's I his maybe. wife. There's no way he wasn't going to put her on camera. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, that makes sense. And then also, um, but real, real quick, but Paul fucking Mullen was Welsh pool. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. Who is that? So Paul Mullen plays for Wrexham. Which is the soccer team that Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney owns, mm. and Rob McElhaney was also in the film as a TVA agent. Ryan okay. Reynolds is just getting everybody in the movies. So everybody when eats. when but yeah, that was well. I, you know, right? you know, I, the team. I kind of wanted I wanted Danny DeVito Wolverine. That would have been that interesting. Just, just, I, don't, I, like, I wouldn't have even. They should have used him for comic accurate Wolverine then. No, no it was God, funny it though because so they, they what they did was they were like, okay, we're gonna just have Hugh Jack. We'll do one. We'll just pick one with a Cavill because right. then we can get the DC joke in as well. Yeah. But then we can also just put like Hugh Jackman for like shits and giggles and like all, in like the suits of like all the other like iconic like Wolverine suits that he's never got to be in. So like we got like Age of Apocalypse. We mm-hmm. got like the brown suit when they're in like the Hulk And fight. the brown suit made old the man best Logan. to me. I would have loved to see the brown suit the whole movie. Like I yeah, don't the hate the yellow cool. the yellow and blue suit. I don't hate it at all but man that brown and yellow suit was Oh no the next one. Oh my Wolverine god Wolverine awesome. the brown suit. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Also also um, it's more like I really normal. really really mm-hmm. liked the like point two seconds we we got of Hulk versus Wolverine. Yeah I, I was fun. like yeah. I would have been waiting yes. for more of that man. So Rumor that I saw today from Screen Rant and Comic something or other. I I trust Screen Rant. Uh, no, well, it was two. We love Screen Rant. <laughs> there, was two. there was I can't think of what the other one is. It was like Comic something. Well, or usually whatever. they did steal from something else. So. Yeah, Screen Rant definitely yeah. did. But um, the 
Hulk and Wolverine movie is now in talks. There's no way that's going to happen. We've been, uh, be, like, uh, no, they have to get full control of Hulk. I've been first. hearing about a, a World War Hulk movie for, like, a decade. Yeah. Like, they, they like, that's been, like, rights to Hulk? No, no, they have weird, they have weird the movie rights. That, that's the reason why I'm a Hulk still owns Hulk, Hulk never and happened. Sony still Like, he can be in that. stuff. But he, that's like, also it's why hard to do like one that he he's the lead. That's but that's why they, that's why they put him in that's why they put him in Thor three yeah. because yeah. they couldn't make a Hulk movie, but they were like okay well people like the Hulk so let's just put him in Into, the entirety yeah. of Thor three, three yeah. you know that's she actually was, still one of the better. What's the change it from no. them using Mister Fix It or Red Hulk now? How's that property aligned? Well, I think it's just it's but literally again, just you, the right the character using, involved. It's yeah. not a Spider-Man type. It's like a it's a weirder deal than the Spider-Man thing. Gotcha. Where it's just like it's some old like horribly like done contract when like Marvel signed away all the shit for nothing. Yeah, it's not it's like, not like how Sony It's just is. one of those things. Like, like why like why Disney World can't use yeah. Marvel? It's why yeah. they're never going to get Spider-Man back cuz Spider-Man like is probably worth like one third of what Marvel's worth. Sony would never give them up fully ever again. Spider Spider-Man is the only I'm it's sorry so, to say so this, lucrative. but it's the truth. Spider-Man and PlayStation are the only two things keeping Sony in business. No, like, I mean, you're not wrong. If they lost Spider-Man, the only thing Sony would have to their name is yeah. It's also is bad PlayStation. that Sony is using all of his characters off in a universe that's not going to make it anywhere. Actually, to be fair, they uh, they sacked everyone off like from the... Cause I don't, this hasn't even got a lot of like traction from what I've seen. But the guys in charge of Spider-Verse, like the two directors, are now in charge of the Sony... Spider-Man. Oh, I hope so. I Which mean, is they like, know what they're doing with the character. And like, the only thing, the only thing that's been announced stop giving is me like, shitty uh, Tom Hardy yes. fucking movies. Venom movies. Yeah. Please. Obviously, they're working on the third Spider Verse movie, which I honestly think those are like some of the best. No, those yeah, are, are some of the best Spider Man movies uh, ever. Oh yeah, I think those are the two best. I mean, Spider-Man I've never had a problem actually. with the Spider Man movie, but no, yeah, I've but never they're doing like uh like the one thing that the only thing that they've announced that's like actually coming out and getting filmed is like the Nick Cage uh Spider Man Spider Noir, which is coming out on Amazon. Which he's doing in like live action, so well, that's why they oh, really. But it's, I think it's the same character from uh, Multiverse, the, the first one. Oh, oh but, but it's live action. action. Yeah, but it's him in live action. Nicholas that would be cool. Back which I'm means okay Grey Hulk, Mister Fix It, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I just think like I'm not too familiar with like, Noir's, like if lore. I I I get really, it's hard to speculate. You know, potential projects. They're like, oh, this mm-hmm. movie's in talks, or this movie's in talks, right. or this movie's in talks. HBO revealed that they were making Harry Potter again, and then instantly it just disappeared. Oh, yeah, we haven't so, heard nothing about that. I haven't heard anything about it. So I, I think that, like, I just don't trust any of that stuff anymore. Like, I used to be, like, really trustworthy, but that was when they were really They've also really cracked open. down on a lot of the leakers in, they like, were, the last they were also, like, few yeah, months. Exactly. Like, they were half, really so. open about, hey, we're making an Avengers movie. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're making a... Uh, a Thor movie you know what I mean yeah. and they kind of were very open about it oh fi- and then well, like obviously when they got Spider-Man that was like a huge that was the huge secret deal they, yeah, until they a, Civil yeah. War right so it's just hard to like trust any of that anymore but also like this is an unpopular opinion Rick and I were disagreeing on this but like I frankly this was a good place for Hugh Jackman to end up and if he makes an appearance in Secret Wars, I'll be okay with it. Mm-hmm. But then just will. let it go. But I do think that would be the only logical place for him to end up. Like, like they wouldn't use him in anything else. I don't point. think they should use him in anything else. Um, and I think they should just let it go. And given I'll, the I'll... timeline, they we're, we're going to talk about some of the things they announced uh, at like San Diego Comic Con. Uh, given the timeline, there's they're not going to be making much else yeah, before I, I, the two Avengers. Mo- like like most of the story that's going to which again there has been I would say over, overall no overarching story for like for most of like just little bits and pieces here and yeah, there right. like tiny like like astronomically tiny little bits of stuff. Right. Uh, I think that's what they were trying to do. With not, I don't even think they tried Quantum to do it because like there's really yeah. nothing you can there's no like like through okay from like Avengers like from Avengers to. Endgame, I would say, like that, like bit of lore, like through there, like there is a constant, like yeah, line you could you could connect not all the things put together, but like everything like, after Endgame, Ant Man, which is like off by itself, but like right. for the most part, there was like it was Avengers, Iron Man three, like Winter Soldier, which went into Avengers two, which all went the movies into were connected Civil by War, story. Everything's into, very separate now, like yeah, well, and I think it's story. I think it's because and it would start like one plot line. And then it would like we'd never get a movie that was like the second follow up to mm-hmm. that plot. Line. Exactly. Well, I think I know I think, exactly what you mean. Though. I think the other thing about it too is, I feel like they're kind of, in a sense, like panicking because they don't. Oh no! Oh, like, we're they gonna, don't yeah, we're know. Talk about I think they're more <laughs> than panicking. No, but I think they're 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 panicking, especially because they're like, well, the 
we lost the only thing that was really like keeping everything together was was Tony Stark, but we had to write him out. Right. And now the only thing that would evidently connect all of the stories is Spider Man, who they still don't own the fucking rights to. Right. Yeah. So You're it's like one thing. You know what? What, what Jordan? Kang. Yeah, oh, because Kang? now oh, we're gonna, well, we're gonna talk planning about, on we're gonna doing talk Kang. About this later, but Kang is gone. Like no, yeah. Kang has been the old yellered. They've taken him out back and shot Kang. He's it's, gone. It's, like, it's, I, I think that Kang they'll again. they'll probably give like a, Kang. No, no they gone. won't recast him, but they'll definitely do like in a, in the, the Avengers movie they'll do like an honorable mention mm, thing and yeah. then they'll call it a day. They and, handled the Kang situation. We're gonna see that. like a we're gonna see the arena full of their dead bodies. Yeah, basically, basically. that's gonna be it. Like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like, All right. So what else, Christian? What else did you have before we get it? Because you guys are starting to get to the topics later. So why don't we finish up the stuff about Deadpool? Favorite moment? We can go real quick. Favorite moment yeah, favorite of the moment. movie? Rapid fire. Oh, I'm gonna do the intro, the the in sync dance exactly scene good, yeah. with all that. Like I, I thought I wanted to believe so bad that Ryan Reynolds was in the suit dancing. Yeah. I was pretty upset when I found out that it wasn't him, but that to me, like that whole intro was just so enjoyable. It set the tone for the entire movie. No, I agree. With that I would probably double. Uh, Agree with that one. Honestly, it's one of my favorites as well. Just the defiling of using. Yeah, like, like the, come the, on. The, Say we're not going to defile of, Logan. Like the main Logan that yes. we had for twenty years. <laughs> like just defiling the corpse of him and, and like to kill TVA agents is like a pro- is like a yeah, equal awesome. to like the first Deadpool. Absolutely. Like absurdity of its opening. So I need to think about this for a second. So Jordan, you can go ahead and go. My favorite part was the end. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Oh man, that's a hard one though, mm-hmm. because the the whole movie is like a love letter to everything I wanted out of a superhero movie. Mm-hmm. Um, damn, <laughs> Peter Pool. Really? <laughs> hey, listen, that's respectable, <laughs> that man. That was wild. But I wasn't expecting him to I be so I thought that important. was like a Martha joke. No, I that's wasn't expecting. That that's what I thought. Yeah, I, was, like I thought it was like a Martha <laughs> joke. But it was kind of. It wasn't just. The oh, it's Peter. It was no, it was Peter in the suit. We are Deadpool. Yeah. Just like no, <laughs> we are Deadpool. stop saying we're Deadpool. But no, I played out perfectly, and they used the character well. So yeah. I, I think that was my favorite part of the movie because it was like something so stupid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's like, all right, he's good. Yeah, the movie ended up being Deadpool. much more like a like just a third Deadpool movie than like an MCU movie. Yeah, which, which, like, I, which I, think probably smart. Well. I think was smart. I think was smart good that yeah. it doesn't mm-hmm. feel like an MCU. Movie. I didn't need it to set up anything. Just to be clear, be enjoyable. Yep. <laughs> I was like on a high through that whole movie of just excitement. Yeah, it so it's hard to pick. I, just I also one. okay. I think that um, I think my my favorite scene in the whole movie has got to be when they're fighting the crowd of Deadpool's. Okay, like yeah, I think that was absolutely. awesome. Yeah, uh, honestly, like getting the cowl for and, the first time. Oh yeah, and that, that that's yeah. what I was about to I'm say. I'm glad they didn't he do just the whole movie. Back and, but, no, yeah, it would have been too much. But like, I'm glad that, that they but they good. used it tastefully, and he just reaches behind and yeah. he looks at him. He goes, "Whoa, yeah, like, <laughs> you're that bringing that awesome. out now." Mm-hmm. It just it looks so good, and then obviously he takes the helmet off. <laughs> I do have one thing though, which is hilarious to me, is. He reaches behind him and like pulls the mask. It does come out of nowhere. (laughs) It comes out of nowhere, but then also for the rest of the movie, it's like a hard helmet that he like places. But where did it come from? Like (laughs) his whole his whole upper body, the whole upper part of the suit gets ripped off, but the cowl just stays on. Yeah, and and I'm I'm willing, but I'm willing to accept this as it's a Deadpool movie, so like they're just doing whatever they want. Oh, and... Continuity be fucking, damned. Yeah, seriously. Nice pool. Ni- oh, nice like, pool is a classic. I, like, oh, I know a lot of people didn't that. like Nice pool, but I like I Nice pool. I loved it. The regenerate I, joke was, was the best. The best. Oh, the rege- <laughs> he, yeah. he's, like, he's like, so when do you regenerate? Regenerate? What? <laughs> <laughs> so like, what do you I, mean? I have a light bone density. <laughs> I have to protect my face. Dog pool was good, too. Dog, Dog yeah, pool was the highlight. So, so there's somebody who's um, been joining our lives when Julian and I go live on TikTok. Mm. And she's actually the vet tech for Dogpool. Oh, that's sick. So, oh, uh, Amethyst. Yeah. 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 Um, And like, she goes, Peggy is such a good dog. I'm like, <laughs> it, I could tell from the movie that she was a very good dog. Yeah. <laughs> Got dead. Dogpool definitely made the day. I mean, that was an MVP. Yeah. I mean, they made it so much uglier than Dogpool is in any iteration in the comic. Yeah. Isn't it like just like a mutt? It's usually just a normal now, dog. Yeah. Like, they're like, nah, we're just going to make it like the tongue hang out. Mm, yeah, was, right. <laughs> the dog is not going to look normal at any point in the movie, but you're going to love it regardless. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about you, Christian? Uh, honestly, my favorite moment was the when the like the team 
I guess you can call them like show up. Okay. Uh, because not not necessarily because like that was like a great like team shot, which it was, yeah. but because like more just because of like what the is possible uh, like going oh, yeah. forward. Because like that was a team just like on paper, like, ignoring like who's in the role, or whatever. That included two Wolverines, mm-hmm. like X twenty three and Wolverine, Deadpool, uh, Elektra. Blade and Gambit. Yeah, like, like this is the most just random. Think of the team. caliber of those characters and like how right. badass and cool those characters are, and how much like history is steeped to them, mm-hmm. and then to have them like the ability for the MCU to put those characters in like the same story now. And like, like that's like something you think they would have been able to do the whole time, like you yeah. Know and that's saying? still new. Like that's yeah, still a like new it, phenomenon. Mm-hmm. So there's all these new phenomena and new things that we can still get like this twenty years into the MCU. With exactly. Holidays. Yeah, I like so. that they, and obviously like I did, I did, I. I did reach over at one point and like grab my roommate like this when I thought <laughs> when I well because when I thought they were gonna kill X twenty three I was like oh, oh my god, god like please, please don't the love of god. I was like I was like okay look yeah. Electra good good have a send off Channing Tatum's never coming back Wesley never. Snipes totally okay with it we've got Mahershala Ali I love that they made that joke yeah, that would never be another, there would be another blade, blade. And Deadpool um, just looks at the camera <laughs> um but then they like. She grabbed, she grabbed her with the whip, and I was like, "Oh, oh please, please, no, no please, please!" And you couldn't then she go through the Jackie and despair she, all she over just again. A, a, appeared at the end, and I was like, "Oh, oh thank God!" God. <laughs> like I was worried because it's like she's such a cool character, and yeah. obviously she's young enough that she could just keep doing Take it. over the role. So right. I was, I, I yeah, think she, I think we'll, we will probably see her in that. I'd be role. okay like, with I'm, that. I think probably it's going to be. Um, well, we're gonna start. I think there's gonna be a lot of characters that's gonna. Well, either way, Secret Wars, I think we're getting a, an actual full reset. Like, yeah, after oh, yeah, Secret Wars. So, and I think they're just going to pick and choose which actors are going to, like, just want to continue. Which ones are, it's are going to stay, want to stay on. a part of the MCU. Uh, anyone who they, they want to, like, refresh and get, like, uh, do we, that way it just gets a clean break from a lot of people, but to anyone who wants to stay or they consider good. Right. So, like, at that, and she's still very young. She's 19 still. Yeah. So, like, she's still, like, She'd be like the right age to play X twenty three for the next like fifteen years. Basically. Yeah. You could definitely and play she her younger into than the she young is. Avengers to take the mantle you know, too. So, uh, there was, well, let's answer Actually, the let's next question. Yeah, let's and I, have, uh, I have a thing I want. I was to gonna say. say rating, but that's boring. Uh, did we like it more or less than Deadpool one and two? More. I like it more than Deadpool. Nah, uh, well, I like it more than Deadpool two. But I don't. I remember the feeling I got watching the first Deadpool. I think Deadpool one is still the most like con- concise film. Yeah. Like, the plot and like the actual character. It just felt so put together, like the, the most complete in that movie. Yeah, and that's not even down talking Deadpool and Wolverine because it blew me out of the water. Mm-hmm. It was way better than I could have ever ever acted to be. But like, yeah. I, that, the feeling that Deadpool one, I could still watch that movie right now and get the same feeling over and yeah. over. It's like the perfect. I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to say that for me, this one is the best. But that's because until the Deadpool movies came out, I was never connected to Deadpool. For sure. You know what I mean? It was always like, I was always a much bigger Wolverine fan, like growing up. And so seeing this movie, I mean, you've got Deadpool and I love Deadpool, but Mm -hmm. like Wolverine is is it for me, you know? And that's a good thing that I liked about this movie too, is it didn't feel like Wolverine took a back seat. Like I liked that this movie Mm -hmm. was very much Wolverine's movie as much as it was Deadpool. They could have very easily made Wolverine like a side character. Did you see the thing he said where it was called Deadpool and Friend? Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like they could have easily like crapped on Wolverine and been like, "Hey, listen, you can be a big part of the movie, but you're not going to overtake Ryan Reynolds." No, they got basically star. They were very, very fifty fifty in the in this movie. Well, I think when they wrote it and they sat down to have the discussion, Ryan was like, "No, this is this is a fifty fifty thing." Yeah, like I'm glad it turned out that way. Yeah. Oh, the car fight scene just popped. I'm gonna be. Oh, the car fight was. That's actually probably like the best technical. The Honda. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Fox. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Honda Odyssey sales definitely went up after yeah, that. That was weird because what was the one car yeah. they were shitting on? I'm like, how did they actually like the, this company allow them to like shit Honda. on this car? Well, Honda like, was yeah. that's not not a normal thing to do. Like most of the time, those companies do not let you just shit talk. Well, I, I guarantee you they probably made think, so much money. I think they did it on purpose because he was going to come back at the end and go, well, the Honda Odyssey fucks. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? true. It's a build up all the way to actually getting the good the, the good, good stuff at the end. They wanted absolutely fair enough. Actually, at its finest. Any publicity Deadpool is good publicity, that your car I guess. Yeah. Fucks. <laughs> like, uh, we had this guy. I just want to talk about this for a sec. Go for there it. was this dude in the theater was plastered. Oh god! And this guy walks in. The only way and to go. He, he's like, he's like, he's like, hey man, you're in my seat. Can you, you know, move? And Rick and I are watching from the back, and this guy, like, I couldn't see him because his head was under the thing, mm-hmm. and 
I'm like, what is, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Like five minutes later, this dude finally stands up and he's like. <laughs> he must have had his fair share of and aviation gin. pre game the Deadpool you, and Wolverine show? I, I, yeah. So then he moved up to like, he stumbled up to like the last row and he starts walking down our row. So Rick immediately puts his footrest up in oh, the hopes no. that the guy would trip over it. He didn't make it halfway down. Goes all the way back around, finds a random seat that's open. Like five minutes later, two other people walk in. They're like, yo, you're in my seat. Oh, and he moved over and just sat there like half the movie and it was talking through the whole thing until finally the guy that asked him to move turned around and was like, yo, Shut the fuck up! Everybody in the theater was so happy about it, and then he fight, and then he got kicked out. But we were just like, "Oh my god, don't be that guy!" No, please, people, those are the worst kind of people. Don't in be that not. guy. If you're going to an opening night of a movie, don't be that guy. If you're going to see it three weeks later, don't be that guy. Don't pregame before. Be movies. that guy in your house. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Um, just but anyway, like, but I had to tell that story because because then like we're watching the movie and I'm like, oh my god, this is like. This is the that that's that's the depressed Wolverine. That, no, yeah, that doesn't make it out. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, uh, he, I, he, I think he, this is better than just move on. Uh, I don't know. I think it's probably Deadpool one's probably still the best. This is like a close second behind that, and then uh, Deadpool two. Goes. Yeah. I don't. I don't hate any of them, but I. No, I like I them all. I think this but... one's the best one. Hey, listen, I yeah, I, I think for me, I like I said, that. because of because of Wolverine. But yeah. mm. well, I like I. When I look at Deadpool, so I was a fan it's a bigger of play box. It's a bigger like sandbox. I, yeah. I was yeah. a fan of Deadpool since Marvel Alliance Two came out on the PlayStation Two and Xbox. I remember the Ultimate Fair Alliance enough. games. And Ultimate they were Alliance, wild. yeah. I never got to play them, but I do remember them. Oh my god, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance was like no, one of my favorite games as a kid. So, so I was a fan of Deadpool before. So, like, I kind of knew what to expect what, going into the Deadpool movie, especially after we got Shitty Pool. In um, X Men Origins, in the Fox uh, that's a cameo. I'm sad we didn't get. Uh, I actually did Shit watch pool. that version. <laughs> no, um, no, but the the um, uh, just based off of character mannerisms and fourth wall breaks and stuff like that, we didn't need Colossus and we didn't need Kimiko and Negasonic Teenage Warhead and stuff like that. We got them in the first 30 minutes, like we said yeah. they would, and then they were non-existent until the end. Well, right. They used them as a device. As like, yeah, yeah and, and I get it. So, which but sense. we didn't need them to carry any of the story like we did in 1 and 2, so it was like, okay, I'm good with this. Right. And I, we got yeah. a, an independent Deadpool movie. Yeah, no. I had a couple comments I wanted to just make. Like, first of all, I, I think like Hugh Jackman did a great job playing a different Wolverine. Mm-hmm. Like he's mm-hmm. he's been playing the same Wolverine all these years, and all those movies that he's playing Wolverine in, he's he's Wolverine in all of them. And this one was a different take on him. No, so sure. I think for him it was probably cool to be like, yeah, it's I'll do this because personally. he got to play a different mm-hmm. version of him. And he has and 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 you know I want to give him those both of them credit because they have some really good scenes, very good acting scenes. Like they're both very good actors. And I think like, you know, him, that scene with X-23, you know, I know they kind of do it from two perspectives in the movie, you know, and that, you know, this he ain't shit. And I just, I really like the self, you know, like they, they were able to find the things where he's drinking in the background in the one scene, but then he's yeah, very dramatic like 20 seconds later. Mm-hmm. It's really, really good. And um, so I really appreciate it. And the humor in this movie, and I know because we're going to, you guys, I, I just want to say like, there are so many great lines. I mean, we could we could spend a half an hour just hitting all why all the lines are so friggin' hilarious, mm-hmm. and and it's and and you know some of them are inside jokes, like you guys covered a few of them, but man, there's just some it it just like and that's why it reminds me so much of the first Deadpool. Welcome to the MCU. You're joining on a low point. Yeah, <laughs> ladies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. you know, like the one that I want to throw in is the thing that my favorite in the movie. I didn't get a chance to do this. Is when all the Deadpools show up. And he throws the multiverse under the bus. Yeah. It oh, that is, is hilarious. Good. He's like, it's not working. And he and, 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 and nice pulls in the back and he's like, and he's like there's like they're both doing I've it. I've loved everything since Endgame. It's just <laughs> it's just great. It's just really good. Like yes. you guys it's just so funny that yeah. that they like and that's why Deadpool's so great, because he can just mock 
He can just mock the universe that he's living in. That's why this movie is going. This that's why this movie is going to do so exceptionally well. Is because of yeah. Not only not only is it like a good movie, like plot wise, but also Deadpool is the only character that could literally look the audience in the face and go. I know how you're feeling, and I'm going to say yeah. how you're feeling to yeah. everybody, just so everybody knows what's happening. I love the the, like, the grabbing the camera and going "fuck you, Fox." Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then he breaks the camera. Mm-hmm. Like to me, that was like yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the fourth wall breaks in this movie were probably Top better notch. than the first oh two movies God. for sure. When, when uh, yeah, nice I think, I think goes, this is the least like the proposal. Yeah, <laughs> he can only like, break the fourth oh wall God. for like a minute. Like Jesus, <laughs> that was so good. He's like, what is this? Yeah, I can break the fourth wall too. Right. 